Okay. Mm -hmm. It's free. Huh? It's your daughter. Yes. They put a, a spirit of lust. It's true. true private. Yeah, it's true. True. Huh? It's, it's true. You know that. And she's behaving. The way she's behaving. Yes. So you know there's something in you here, yeah. in your private, that makes you to do like this. Huh? Yes, daddy. God loves you. Yeah? My sons, they are on drugs. Help me, daddy. Deliver them, please. Daddy. Why you, you want them to de de deliver? I can't take this anymore. Yeah? They are on drugs. Deliver them. Please, Mama, oh, stand up. <laughs> can you all come? Look at your mom crying. They know you people, you are. No, please. This mama is tired of what you see on you. It's not true. It's true. It is true. So you people, you don't listen to mama. It's not true. It, it is, is true. true. It's true. And uh, now, after I pray for you, you people must ask forgiveness. Are you hearing it? Yes. Huh? Yes. Yes. Amen. So, Mama is tired. She even regrets that she gave birth to you. It's too much. much. Huh? It's too much. Mama is very tired. Uh, I look at the girl, your daughter. It's just the same spirit with them. This one is doing this, another one doing that, another one do this. Him to me. Bring him to me. Let's bring this one. You are the one who needs deliverance. We deliver you. All these others will fall. But this one, I will see him as a criminal. Amen. This one. Amen. Eh, Mama? Amen. I will see this one as a criminal. <laughs> eh? All his friends. I will see him as a criminal. And if he doesn't change, he won't live long. Amen. Because you are crying now. Remember what the Bible says. If you don't respect your parents, what will happen? Will you live long? No. This one is stubborn. So he's free. All of you, after this, ask Mama forgiveness. Where is your phone? It's here. Huh? It's here. Let me see. So this phone here. Do you want me to break it now? No. Eh? This phone here is taking his life, this boy. Yes. Eh? Yes. Eh? Very yes. true, Daddy. He, he doesn't listen. He doesn't he's, listen. Everything he's always on, on the phone. His, his life is here. Even now, he's starting to chat with some people who are very wrong now. So he take it. So can I break it? Please. If, please. If eh? wrong, please. Wrong. All of them, actually. All of them. Bring, bring your phones to all of them. <laughs> It's enough. She says she's tired. I'm tired. She, she, she wants me. I say I want to break one phone. She says all of them must bring their phone. She's tired. I agree. I they are children. Yes. Huh? Yes, I agree. These phones are a problem to their life. The phones are a problem to their life. Yes. So you say they agree. 
The problem, the phones are a problem to their life. So, must I break this? Please. Huh? Please. Please. Must I? Please. Please. Um. <laughs> uh, must I do? Please, daddy. Take them. Take them. Amen. This is your party. Come, mama. Look here. Do you know that your father is a man of God? Are, are you sure? Yes. Amen. You know? Amen. Huh? Yes, we know that. You know that? Yes, yes, you know. Do you know that? Amen. Huh? Amen. So why are you people who are behaving like this? Do you want to kill them? No. 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 Huh? no, no do you know having your parents is an opportunity? Amen. In life? Amen. Huh? Amen. Yes, sir. So who, where is your phone? You, go and take it. <laughs> uh, these people here, their phones are killing them. So you are tired. We are very tired. Um, I am. I even tired. developed hypertension. You don't want I'm it. I'm tired. No. Hey, Daddy, if it's causing problems, please. It is. It's not. It's, it's not causing problems. Daddy, I'm looking for a job. I want to go to school. Nothing is working. Your, your mama is giving me. Yes. You can't get a job yes. always on Facebook. Is this there one, anyone want to give one. me your phone? You are also tired. You are hooked here. Run forward now. Look here, it might not be a phone. It might be you who's control who's controlled by a phone. It might not be even if we buy another one, it will be the same. Right now, these phones here, you people you are so much connected. It's not true. It's true, Daddy. It's How true. many boyfriends do you have? Hey. How many? Daddy one. Yeah, uh, you are lying to me. Daddy, true, true, true. Huh? We are engaged. Huh? Previously, she had men, but now she's engaged to uh, Rendan Malot, Chai, She had Madon many. Pichon. She had yes. many. Huh? Before. Before. How many were they? Many. Many. Stand up, stand up, stand up. All right, I'm not embarrassing you. You people, I'm checking you like you are my children. Yes. You understand? Yes, ma'am. Look here, if now you are children of this man who's called by God, what will happen to you? Because whatever that is happening to you will affect the people that are following these people. Very true. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah? Stand for. You don't even pray, including you. You. Yeah. Yes, you don't even mean. pray, you. No, he, he moved out. He doesn't want to come back home. He's staying with a girl who's even out. older. Who's even older than him with uh, two kids. You hear what Mama is saying? Yeah, yes, I hear. Huh? Mm -hmm. So you want to come back home? <laughs> you want to leave the Magogo and come back home? Mm. They, are, they are listening to wrong people. So listen to this. I'm saying this, I'm concerned. You people who are watching, look at your children. Look what, whom they are communicating with. Children of pastors are so vulnerable to Satan. And if now we pastors, we just allow our children to live the way they wish, there will be a, a, a door to certain to our lives. If we pastors, we agree that, oh, we want to take care of our children. Like these parents, they love all of you, you people. Very you know? Huh? We love them so are, much. They, these people are crying for you. But the character they are seeing on you, how old are you, my boy? Are you the I'm older? 30. Eh? 30. 30? Yes. So why don't you become an example where you come back home, you find a right person in the church, and you marry in a right way? Amen. Eh? Amen. That is our prayer That's every night. That's, That's our, our prayer, prayer every, every night. day. That's our prayer. We must yes. get a wife here in Charis. This, this one. <laughs> He must come back home in the house. I ask him, he's not working. I, t I ask yeah, him. They I, say he must get a, a wife here in Charlie. <laughs> Are you agreeing? I've, I have made. Direction. He needs direction. Oh, oh, you speak out. If I may be honest, yeah. I've been with her almost five years. 
we have adopted children from a well future in law since well but anyway yes i have made commitments so you see this uh, your parents are crying already you have got a child from somewhere with a lady that is older than you why you don't become example and you don't listen to them what is it that will happen to you you are not becoming example to these ones who are following there are so many things that are happening in his life that are not right. He is, he is a graduate. He graduated at university. He has a degree, but he can't find a job. When he gets a job, something wrong happens, and he loses the job. He gets another job, three months, it is gone. And okay, I believe it is because you know, of what he's doing. If he, it's God working for him. If he, he can have money, he will marry the lady and do everything there. In future, he's going to have problems that no one will solve this man. In a council, I will meet you with the parents. All of you, I'll meet you. Eh? God loves you. Uh, you need to change. You need to be example in the family. Eh? Yourself, yes. you look older. How old are you? 25. 25? Yes, sir. When did you get 25? Last year. Last year. I'm, I'm going 26. You're going to 26 week. now? Yes. So now, how old are you? 14. 14. 19. 19. What will happen to these children if Satan can just play with them like this? You can't say anything in, in public. You understand? I can't. So I pray for this one. I saw something coming out there in a private. And I realized she's got a spirit of lust. And look at them. All of them, they are disarrayed. So God bless you. I think I will see all of you after church. God bless you. It's issue of wrong friendship in those phones. That if they can start a new life, we remove the, start, the, the SIM card. We give them phones. No, it won't work. If they stay the whole month without phone, maybe two or three, mo three months, it can be better. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. One month, it, can be, it won't be enough. Two, three, it can be better. Maybe it's better you don't have a phone. It's better you don't have what? A phone. If the phone leads you to sin, it's better you don't have it. Hallelujah. Can we ask? Hallelujah. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching Charis TV. Here with us, we are with our lovely family, and Mommy will be introducing everybody who's around here. Mommy, can you please tell us your name, tell us where you come from, and also introduce the people who are close to you. My name is Matiri Sokobe. I originally come from Malimpopo, but presently staying in Pretoria. And uh, these are my children. This is the firstborn. This one is Victor Gobe. This is the second born, Itumele Gobe. This is the third born, Kotaso Gobe. And this is the last born, Neo Gobe. Ma'am, uh, can you please tell me what is the problem that you are facing in your life that made you to come and join us here in Charis Missionary Church? I, had, uh, I have serious problems and I saw it as a need to come to Charis for my children and myself to get deliverance. Um, um, my children, this the firstborn and this one, they take alcohol and they take drugs. So, and this one also needed deliverance, and or even this one, all of them they they are addicted to phones. So most of the time they are on phones. So it was not easy as a mother going through that. And as teenagers, it becomes they become unruly sometimes. Then I saw a need for me to come to Charis because I believed God will deliver my children in this place. So I came here for deliverance for my family. My brother, let's ask you, your mother says that you were taking alcohol. Is it true? Yes, it is true. And the influence, where did the influence come from or where did it all start? Um, I don't know. I think because of my surroundings and 
being a teenager. As a child of a pastor, what are the words of encouragement that you can give to other young men out there? Oh, well, I can say it's not easy, especially when you're, you're a young boy. I'm not sure for the girls, but it's very different for a boy because uh, the pressure is not the same and we are not affected the same way. So I think I will just advise them, you know, to keep small circles of friends and make sure they are close to their family members more than the people on the streets. And also here with us, you're with the daughter of Mama, and she'll be telling us what was she really uh, coming across in life for the man of God during the service has prophesied you that you were tormented by the spirit of lust. What was really happening in your life? I was experiencing weird things in my dream, spiritual husband. It was very difficult for me. And... The man of God today prayed for you. How are you feeling? I feel so much free and lighter. What are the words of encouragement that you can give to other young ladies out there whom their parents are pastors? I advise them to honor their parents. Their biological parents and their spiritual parents as well. Yes. Tell us what was really happening in your life. What has been happening in my life is that there's not been any consistency. Like as, I, as I'm actually pretty old right now, uh, I get jobs, they do, and then something wrong happens, and I lose the job. So there's not been much consistency in my life, and the place where I would like to be at is not where I'm at. But thank God, I'm here today. What has really happened in my life was uh, <laughs> sort of like I was I had a lot of distraction where when I do something something just distracts me then I just forget I had also forgetfulness where I'll just forget what I was doing then I'll lose focus and also in school where even if I'm taught something when I get home I'll forget what I learned at school although even I wrote the notes I wouldn't I wouldn't understand what I wrote there. I'm feeling very relieved because I finally found what the root of my problem and what caused me to be like this and I'm very happy that finally today I was delivered because since I came to Cherish I've been praying but nothing was happening but today finally God has heard my prayer.